to Mobile, Alabama. Morning, everybody. Well, guys, we're going to start our day here at this big structure here. This is the Cathedral Basilica uh, of Immaculate Conception here in Mobile, Alabama. This is the Mobile, Alabama Police Museum here. Well, thank you, Morgan, for looking up some Google information on this one. This Masonic temple here. Pretty old. I was missing some paint. And what do we have up here? A Christmas tree in the park. And this is the rest stop here at uh, well the Welcome Center to Mississippi here and they have this little kind of makeshift day camping but overnight is cool too so Morgan and I are here we got her trailer and Jeep close by and Luke's over here no no other RVs or people are utilizing I went inside and uh, I asked them about overnight parking and they said it's fine I don't know though because the sign does say no overnight parking but this is a different area of the rest stop so Anyway, I'm quoting what the Welcome Center lady said. She said it's fine, and if security comes by, they might just ask for your name and when you're going to leave that information so they know what's going on and stuff. Really funky clouds um, going on, and we're going to just letting you guys know there's rain in the forecast here in the area for the whole next week. So I eh, might only be bringing the camera out while it's nice and clear doing that sort of thing. But uh, we're going to go back to that gator place in the morning. And, and check it out and see what's going on at least. Give it another shot. Eh, it's kind of a hit and miss on the road, especially a lot of places this is off season. So off season means a lot of places closed down. You know, we were going through Panama City, pretty much every single restaurant except McDonald's and Burger King says, see you guys spring break. So they just, you know, take three, four months off. But yeah. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We had a fluky, weird night here at this rest stop here in Mississippi. Uh, <laughs> We ended up having to move two more times after I ended the video. Let me just refresh you. So we pulled into the regular truck spots where you're supposed to park. Then I went inside and asked them if we could overnight park. And they said, well, actually, we want you over there in the campground away from so you can free up those stalls and just check in with security, which we did. And we checked in with security. At nightfall, like 7, 8 p.m., the next shift security guard came in and said, hey, I got to ask you guys to move. You can't park here overnight. We had a guy die here in the last couple weeks okay, where do you want us? He said, well, pull up to the front where the guard station is, park there. We did that. Everything was fine until about 6.30 in the morning where we got a knock from another shift 
officer who said, hey man, I'm gonna get in trouble, you guys gotta move. So we were parked over there and he told us to come over here to this spot that has longer stalls and a walking trail, which was fun. as a mile long trail to the swamp, no gators seen over there, but I thought that was kind of weird because we were only really here for 12 hours and yet we had to park in four different places to appease what three different shifts of people wanted us to do. Okay, uh, anyway, once we were up early that, as, as early as we were this morning, we just stayed up and uh, now we're gonna head over to the gator place and see if we can spot some gators here in Mississippi. Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.